Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at kind of an interesting little thing. It's uh, going up to go down. <laughs> what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is the fact that aircraft, um, remember, because you have all four forces that you're constantly balancing. You know, when I pull back like this, you know, what I'm doing is increasing angle of attack, which is increasing lift, which is also increasing drag. So uh, one of the common mistakes that uh, people do when they're landing an airplane is uh, they say, oh, I'm getting close to the runway. Oh no, it uh, looks like uh, that runway down there. Let me go ahead and actually spin around and set ourselves up with an actual runway here. Also, Cessna 152, in case you're curious, this is Nantucket. It's a really, really nice little island kind of off the coast of the United States here. All right, let's go ahead and spin around and uh, create everybody's uh, favorite situation that they do all the time by accident. Whee! This aircraft is ridiculous. All right, perfect. Okay, so here's the thing. You want to go ahead and land on that runway right there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause so you can kind of see just how bad of a predicament we're in here. You want to land on that runway, and you're like, oh, I want to land on 1.5, but unfortunately I'm a little bit high, but, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm just going to put the flaps all the way down, and it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and simulate that real quick. I'll go ahead and put the flaps all the way down. And I'm going to push the nose down, and let's see if we're fine. Yeah, so the first problem we're running into is the fact that this aircraft's flaps are about to get snapped off. The second problem we're running into is the fact we're now descending at about 2,200 feet per minute, which we can do, it just means your ears are going to explode. The third problem we're going to have is when we finally do get down to the runway, we're going to be going so fast that we're probably going to use a good solid half of the runway in order to go ahead and avoid it. Now, there's a bunch of different techniques people use to get out of this problem. Uh, the first uh, method I see quite a bit is somebody will do one of these where they'll go ahead and pull the nose up like this, they'll go ahead and tow a nice tight spiral. Keep in mind, while we're operating with full flaps here, which means this aircraft will be going blah, 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 like that. We do this really, 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 really tight glider maneuver. Again, this is a perfectly acceptable maneuver if you're a glider. And then we come out of it, and would you look at that? We are now pretty much lined up with the runway, and our speed is a lot more stable. Second maneuver people use is they use slips. They say, oh, no problem. So they go ahead and push the rudder all the way to the right. They go ahead and tip the aircraft to the left like this. Now, I can tell you from experience in the real world that slips are great, but they make the plane buffet, which scares the crap out of your passengers. Also, notice said my aircraft here is uh, doing uh, 73 so unfortunately this means this landing is going to be a little on the rough side going around so we'll go back up so there's a better strategy and this is one of those unintuitive things about flying that people don't realize and that's the fact that your aircraft you can create drag because of the fact that we're a big old airfoil if you can create enough drag to actually overcome like we saw in the regional reversal video you actually have the ability to go ahead and set your aircraft up to land safely even though we're at that dumb position so let's go ahead and see what i mean by that i'm gonna go ahead and get this aircraft all nice and jacked boop aha it's pretty jacked and let's go ahead and do something differently this time so i'm gonna pull the throttle back aircraft's going to slow down nicely. I'm going to go ahead and pop the flaps all the way down, and I'm going to hold the nose up. Now you're sitting there going, no, no, you have to descend. If you don't descend, you're not going to make it down. Am I? Let's see what happens. I'm just going to hold the nose up. I'm just going to hold the nose up. And we're nice and slow now. So now... I'm pulling the controls back as opposed to letting the nose drop. So instead of allowing the aircraft to accelerate, which is what happens if I let the nose drop, I'm instead creating a massive amount of induced drag because I'm demanding so much lift out of my wings. If I actually pull back even further, um, you can see I'm basically on the edge of a stall here, but the aircraft is dropping basically straight down. So um, we're enjoying this nice little elevator ride. And if you actually look out the window here, you can see my aircraft is basically not moving right now. And the reason this is working is because the aircraft is creating so much drag that even if I were to go jam on the throttle or something like that, it, it's basically a brrrr. And that's a technical term, by the way. It would basically uh, not go anywhere. So of course, at this point, we'll apply some good glider skills here. We're going to give myself just a little bit of a turn to the left. And again, I'm not doing any aggressive maneuvers. I'm not accelerating. I'm not decelerating. That was a very steep approach. All I'm doing is taking advantage of all this extra drag that I'm creating with the aircraft. Like I said, we have to go up to go down, as unintuitive as that sounds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and beam the runway here. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and finish up my turn. Now, one of the tough things is I'm doing this on a 152 today. If we do this in a heavier airplane, this effect is more dramatic. Keep in mind, this is a very, very, very lightweight plane. So when you do do things like this, you're not going to have quite the same effect as if you try to do this in like a Bonanza or something. You'd be like 2,500 feet per minute down. Just go ahead and bring the plane around very, very gently. Again, same maneuver we saw. There's no violent controls here. I'm still completely in control of the plane. Uh, nothing weird going on at all. Just got to kind of complete my turn here. But notice I am just dropping, 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 and my speed is still perfectly acceptable for the approach that I'm trying to make here. Obviously, don't stall at this altitude. Now, as I come out of here, look at that. I'm almost exactly at the correct altitude. As a matter of fact, I have overdone it. I have to actually let the nose drop, build up some speed, 
And we're back in business. Take a look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start feeding some of that drag back out of the aircraft. If I leave all that drag in, I'm basically going to pancake when I come down to the ground here. So obviously the approach speed on a Cessna 152 is not 45 knots. But for the sake of uh, argument, for the sake of demonstration here, I'm just going to make it work. Also, somebody really needs to trim that tree right there. Yep, I'm going to need a little bit of thrust here. Otherwise, I'm going to eat it. Just a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit. Yeah, like I said, I just need a little kick just to uh, kind of clear the engine there. There we go. Over the runway, you're going to hear it and the plane's going to get very grumpy at me. Ah, that was nice. So you can see the difference between the two very clearly. Uh, one of those uh, landings, like I said, that was... If this was a short field situation, look at that. No difficulty at all landing in a very, 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 very short distance, about 750 feet there, versus if we'd come in the other way, doing 85 knots, even with full flaps, we would have basically not stopped until we got to that line from the other direction. So you can see that by increasing the drag, you can actually make it so that you can approach slower. It just requires a little bit of unintuitive thinking. But other than that, enjoy.